All right, everyone's uh, bodily fluids have been taken care of, <laughs> and we're ready to rock and roll. You can catch us on Twitter at the FF Dynasty. We're gonna keep this train rolling with uh, some Jared Cook. Are we holding or are we rigging the register? Anybody want to go first here? This is a big reason why I'm a tight end punter because this is one of my favorite late round sure. targets and. You know, that happened. You, Obviously, he could be in the exact same position that Trey Burton's in exactly. la- well, last you, week. But would you, you ring the register or holding on for dear life here? Well, you do have – you got Jared Cook all over your dynasty rosters. And for that, sir, I tip a cap to you. You and I both drafted him a couple times in some FFPC leagues in the rookie draft in the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh round this year. I say fourth. It wasn't. But I just – most rookie drafts stop at four rounds. FFPC goes seven rounds, and then five into six rounds. We were dotting up our teams with Jared Cook. Feels really good to have him. Would I sell him or would I hold him? There's two different. Obviously, there's plenty of ways to look at it. But for me, you got the guy that might that had just lost Delaney Walker, and maybe he might have thought he was a contender, and he Jared Cook might be a really nice plan B, and you might be able to really get some solid value out of him. On the other hand, they play the Broncos this week, which I don't think of another defense in the league that's as that's basically a mirror image of the Rams, except for the the, the Broncos' defensive pressure is coming from Chubb and Von Miller on right. the outside of the lines, and the Rams are beating you up for Donald and Sue. And, and the Broncos' kryptonite for years have been they don't the even tight, stick has the, been they the don't tight, even end. tight ends. So. Exactly. They don't even play tight ends. So I don't. I don't have a problem if you can get what I would call like really deep. You don't have to have max. Disley just cut you up. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to get max value for Jared Cook to move him. A, a, a coming off a nine for 180 game. You don't have to get max value. But if you don't get near retail price for him, he's about to have a chance to do the same thing. Right. This next week. In two in well, a that's row. That's what I thought you were driving with, at is maybe hold him and just get another good game out of him. Me, and say, I, see, he, see, it wasn't a fluke. Exactly. Look, at, you know, look you how good he is. You have a chance here with Chris Harris or whoever about to man up Amari Cooper again. And a quick. That's this. It is it's interesting to not know exactly what the Raiders offense is yet because first of all they look really good in the first half against the Rams but I think a lot of teams are going to have to get the ball out in one second against the Rams right. I think a lot of teams are going to show you that such a good front and you're trying to avoid those those nothing, two corners exa- if nothing else I think the Raiders just really put together a decent first half diagram to do what they d- I mean they really did play well against that pressure it fell apart in the second half with some well, one, once the Rams started scoring and putting the pressure on exactly. on the on the uh, took, Raiders there took a minute for the Rams to get Right. In right. sync. They had played no, no preseason. preseason yeah. Which so. is going to make the Rams nasty going forward when they get going on offense and then you had to face that D line and those cornerbacks they brought in. Yeah. But for Jared Cook, he's got the same he's basically got the same situation this week. And I think he's going to get peppered with targets again. Did the defense try to look for him? Maybe, but the Bron- like the Broncos don't even play Disley just tore you up. Like the Broncos don't play yeah. defense against tight ends to begin with. I think I think the same game script comes in for the Raiders, and they hope that the you know that they're not going against that well old machine. It wasn't well old in the first half. I'll give you that, Jay Wayne. You're exactly right. But they're not going against the Rams and Gurley and all that stuff. They're going against the Broncos and three interceptions. Case Keenum. So I think it's a little bit. But three touchdowns. So so inevit- <laughs> so inevitably before before we get Jay Wayne's take on Cook, are you are you saying that you would? Wait a week to sell, or are you just are you just saying that's kind of like what you could do, and you're you're trying to hold on to this guy? Like, what do you what do you what what, what do you think the real Jared Cook is? I think he was tight end like seven last year. Exactly, I think the real Jared Cook is one of the most athletic tight ends in the league. We hated on this guy when he was a Packer and and multiple stops before that because of that he was super athletic and awesome and he's just never put it all together because maybe it was just the lack of wanting to be great, and now it seems like he's put together a really good team. He also looks a little bit like Beetlejuice. He does from the Howard Stern Show. Scarlet! She's the Resident Chiefs fan, and she does not like all this Oakland Raiders talk. Yeah. Not a is, fan of the division. Like, rival. what about Tyreek Hill? He just crushed it. Yeah, but, she uh, wants to move forward. Answer the question, Biko. Situationally, how many teams outside of Gronk, Kelsey Ertz, feels good about their tight ends. Right. Jimmy Graham poo-pooed to bed. Delaney Walker's out for the IR. Trey you know what I mean? Kyle Rudolph was... Uh, Kyle Rudolph caught one ball just happened to be a... T- we Whatever. Talk, we it's like that one catch one. game didn't happen. I got so a touchdown out of him. Can you... <laughs> That's true. Can you... If, if, 
we're talking dynasty here, and Jared Cook has been a Jekyll and Hyde guy his entire career, up one week, down the next four. Pretty up, good last year. You know, though. But he did. He was super solid last year. And they got don't a lot. really have Just a wide answer receiver. answer the question. Th- well, we, we, we don't really it's have situational. a situational. Yeah, we don't really, they don't really have a wide receiver three. You just saw him bring he in. He is their wide receiver right, exactly. three. Exactly. This is why I was all over him all offseason, because he kind of is their wide receiver three. They just re signed Martavis Bryant because they have nobody else. They right. were like, damn it. We so, don't have anybody else to bring that's why The first thing out of my mouth was almost, you got to get retail price. There is no, oh, well, Jared Cook sucked a lot. So what so. would be retail price, though, I guess? Like, I don't know. A first rounder? You, you're not you, going to get, nobody's going to give you that. I'm not giving him up for a second rounder. Exactly. Why would you? Why All would, right, we're really getting somewhere yes. here. Then. Dude got 12 targets, and he caught nine for 180. As that might be his best game of the season. But next next week he's going to get ten more targets and he might go. What if, if what if if he's just eight for a hundred? Bo, I'll take that all day. I'm not getting yeah. That even from if he doesn't have else. the same yardage, he could easily have a touchdown and balance out. Yeah, you right. know, sixty of those so yards. Am I? No, I'm not selling unless somebody wants to give me a first round pick. And even then, I got to be like, am I title chasing? Does Jared Cook give me a chance to win a championship? Because. I knows? like the Delaney Walker thing, though. That was a good... You could probably try Somebody's to... upset about Delaney Walker, and Jimmy Graham's got him questioning. Somebody, somebody, I sold some Jimmy Graham to a guy for a first-round pick who thinks he's a contender, and Jimmy Graham just got him nothing. Right, and and we know we know you're a habitual wheel and dealer. Anybody who's listened to this for long enough, so at but the I'm right all, price, you'll sell anybody. But more than, but I will, but for more than I enjoy a trade, I enjoy being in the hunt for a championship. Sure. And I'm not afraid to. I'll I'll spend my first round pick before the trade deadline, even if I've already locked up the playoffs. Yeah, and it's, it's I mean it's too kind of it's too soon to really determine if you're a look, chasing or not. Right. For the most part, I mean you might be able to look at a roster or two and be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Jay Wayne. If if someone gave me a first round pick for Jared Cook, I I think I'd have to take that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was gonna come on here for for 15 minutes now. I've been like about to jump in and say you can't sell trade uh, Jared Cook. But if someone's going to give you a first, yeah, you got you got to take. I think that. I'll take the first. You got to take that because you but can I'm package with, that up and get somebody better than Jared Cook. Right, and I'm with you. I'm not selling him for but a maybe second. Maybe there's maybe not that many people better than Jared Cook. Maybe not. <laughs> and the he's all, really is, he's only 31 in tight that's, end. That's I mean, I was, that's prime time. <laughs> he's only 31. He yeah. had a great season last year with a poo poo Raiders offense with a. Derek Carr, who had a hurt back, and everyone just shit on them all all over the place, and he still had a all, 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 a pretty solid year. Yeah, stuttering here. We get it under control. I'm excited. You should just quit. So you know what you need to do with Jared Cook? <laughs> Put him in your lineup and win a championship. Right, definitely hold that dude. Out of, you know the old championship that you can win in week two. You know that championship. All right, <laughs> we've exhausted the Jordan uh, Jared Cook talk here. Um, let's move on to the Ravens. You guys want to talk a little Ravens? Let's do it. 